Hi guys, so welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another video. So as you can guess from the title, in this video I'm going to try to eat on $5 a day. Actually, I have already filmed the video. It was an interesting experience. Actually, I find it really interesting how many things I could buy for 5 euros in Paris. Honestly, I think that I'm really lucky to live in Paris, like food-wise, because like grocery shopping is really not that expensive here, in my humble opinion. I think that there are a lot of like cheaper like grocery stores where you can get food for a really good price. So I hope that you guys will enjoy it. I have already filmed it. So so before we start this video, just please make sure to subscribe to this channel and like this video if you feel like doing that. And without any further ado, let's get into the video. Hi guys, so welcome back. So I'm actually planning to do the living off $5 a day um, challenge. I've seen a couple of people do this type of videos and, and I think it's really interesting to see the difference between the cities. For example, I have seen on q 2 Han's channel, like they live in Seoul and everything is like so expensive from like fruits to like veggies. So I'm actually going to spend five euros instead of dollars because obviously we are in Europe, we're in France, we use euros. <laughs> Personally, I think that food and like grocery shopping in France is really not that expensive. Like compared to some Asian countries like Japan or Korea, like fruits and veggies here are quite affordable. Like they're good quality and they're affordable. And I think that if you cook and if you don't eat out, you can save a lot of money here. This is just my personal experience because I usually, I always cook for myself. Like I don't really eat out and I don't spend a lot of money on food a month. And I would say that I eat pretty well. Like I eat a lot of veggies, I eat a lot of whole foods, I eat a lot of fruits and yeah, veggies and grains and yeah, just all that good vegan stuff. So we're going to see how it will go because five, five euros a day, I mean, I don't know. <laughs> Actually, I already have it all planned out because tomorrow I'm going to go to one of the university restaurants in Paris. One of the amazing things about France is that there are a lot of restaurants, like university restaurants, for example, where we can buy meals with our student ID for a really cheap price. Currently, because of COVID, we have like a one euro per meal discount for students. So now, because I have a student ID, I can just go there use my student ID and get a full meal for one euro. So this is what I'm planning to do tomorrow. I don't know any other countries where people can do that, honestly. If you guys know any other countries that do the same thing for like students and people in need, let me know. So since I'm planning to do the challenge tomorrow, today I'm only going to buy the oatmeal for my breakfast because I will not go out at like 7 a.m. and buy oatmeal. I just need to have my oatmeal there right away. So I'm going to spend that one euro on oatmeal today because I know that I can buy oatmeal Ooh. for one euro in a little. We will go there now. So I'm going to do that today and so tomorrow I will only spend four euros for the rest of my meals. I hope that you enjoyed this video and without any further ado let's let's start the challenge. So I have changed into a comfortable attire and I am ready to go to Lidl for my oatmeal. Let's go. It's currently 7am and I just woke up and I'm about to make myself 
breakfast. Can't fit. so I put on my makeup and after that very nutritious <laughs> oatmeal breakfast we're going to go to a university restaurant as I have explained yesterday where I know that I'm going to be spending exactly one euro to buy lunch so um, we're going to go there today and I think we're also going to kind of like um, walk around Jardin des Plantes so you guys will see a little bit of Paris scenery as well in this video I think that after coming back home I'm going gonna go to the grocery store to buy my dinner. We will see how it goes. See you guys later. So I have three more euros to spend for dinner. One euro, one euro. So I'm thinking about buying one broccoli with tomatoes. I paid three euros and nine cents. 
so mission accomplished hi guys so it's a little bit later in the day i think that i'm going to start making the dinner now it's around like 5 30 and i usually eat super early i always eat around like 5 or 6 p.m and i would usually have like a buddha bowls for dinner like i do like a big salad with like different ingredients but unfortunately i don't have the budget <laughs> to do that today so we're just going to like cook something with the ingredients that I have. So I have the tomatoes, the broccoli, the carrot salad thingy, and my apple. Oh, and I still have oatmeal left, so if I will get a little bit hungry, so if I will get hungry later in the day, I will just eat oatmeal, so. <laughs> in this type of videos, I've seen some people use spices, so I think I'm going to do that too. Yeah, I hope that's not cheating, but I just, I need some spices, come on. Let's get cooking. So my broccoli is boiling. It smells like broccoli. <laughs> so I'm only going to add salt and paprika and a little bit of oregano. I'm really sorry, but come on, it's if I just add the tomatoes like this we will see one eternity later I mean it's not too bad it's not too bad I mean it's it's okay That's my dinner. I mean, it's not not so bad, not so bad, not so bad, guys. I got a view of a guy reading a Christian newspaper article. Then we have the the hardware, of course, where the plastic skyline was something really beautiful. There's a lot. So I think that this is the end of this video. I really hope that you enjoyed it. What I have learned from this video is that there are many things that I could buy in four or five euros in Paris. I mean, it's not ideal. And maybe it's also just because I eat really simple and I don't really have like high standards <laughs> when it comes to food. I, I'm just vegan, so I just wanted to be vegan. I think I learned that I can save a lot of money just on food. <laughs> I think that's the biggest thing I learned from this video. Let me know what you think and let me know if five dollars or five euro a day would be enough in the country where you live to buy food. Just again, please make sure to subscribe to this channel and like this video if you enjoyed watching it. And I will see you guys next week. Bye!